News Alert, President Biden has arrived at a state dinner in South Korea. He's expected to give remarks soon, and we'll bring you those when he begins to speak. But one noteworthy piece of news already from this trip is that Beijing launched military, military drills in the South China Sea, buzzing Taiwan with multiple fighter jets, bombers, and other aircraft. So how does this impact the rest of Biden's trip? Let's ask former State Department spokesperson Morgan Ortegas. Good morning, Morgan. Uh, Hi, Will. Help us read into this. There's a lot of ways in which adversaries and global powers communicate. What is China communicating with buzzing Taiwan in the middle of Biden's trip? So they do these sort of military drills often. The drill itself isn't unique, but as you pointed out, Will, uh, this is certainly sent to uh, meant to send a message, right? And so uh, these were done. Uh, and Taiwan had to scramble their own aircraft um, in response. China does this often. They will fly their airplanes or sail their ships in contested uh, islands or contested airspace in order to prove a point that they can, which is why the United States and our allies need to be even more aggressive. So these trips are nice, but it's going to take a lot more than trips. Uh, in order to get our allies on board to be an effective de deterrent to the Chinese Communist Party. You know, we're going to have to do things like make sure our critical supply chains are based here in the United States. Our viewers may not know it well, but 90 percent, 90 percent of our vitamins and our antibiotics are made in China today. It's things like that that both parties in the United States have to tackle if we're going to be serious about countering the threat of the Chinese Communist Party. It's such an interesting stat and one we began to learn, Morgan, during the pandemic, how reliant China. on China we are for our critical medicine. Um, right. But, you know, this message that China is sending seems to be one that we need to be reminded of, that this is our global adversary and China is very forthcoming right. about reminding us. <laughs> they are. I mean, listen, they have ambitions, uh, you know, for the next 100 years. They want it to be a Chinese-led uh, order, right? Right now, Morgan, it's an I'm, American. Morgan, let me let me break in, Morgan. I'm sorry. The president is uh, beginning but, to speak. Uh, Let's dip in. Even more importantly, we've gotten a chance to get to know one another personally. We shared a lot of stories from our <laughs> early beginnings, and I think maybe we told each other too much. I don't know. But, uh, please. 대통령님 감사합니다. 오늘 굉장히 생산적인 회화를 왔고요. 더 중요한 것은 우리가 우리 서로에 대해서 굉장히 잘 알게 됐다라는 것입니다. 어찌 보면 너무 얘기를 많이 해서 너무 많은 정보를 서로한테 준게 아닌가 걱정이 되기도 합니다. The idea you would quote William Butler Yeats, I appreciate very much. It wouldn't happen in London. 네, 그리고 그 예이츠 시를 인용을 해서 얘기를 해 주신 거에 대해서 굉장히 감사의 말씀을 드리겠습니다. Revitalizing this alliance was one of my uh, key foreign policy priorities when I took office last year. Mr. President, your uh, country's democracy shows the power to be able to deliver for its people. 대통령님, 한국이 보여준 민주주의는 바로 민주주의의 힘이 그 국민에게 무엇을 가져다 줄수 있는지를 여실히 보여주고 있다라고 생각합니다. We're proud to say that General was with me today can say as well that uh, our armed forces stand side by side, standing sentinel on a peninsula for seven decades to preserve the peace and make possible that shared prosperity. 그리고 오늘 이 자리에서 제가 정말 자랑스럽게 말할 수 있는 것은 한미 장병 우리 한미가 공동으로 같이 나란히 싸워서 지난 70년 동안 한반도를 수호했을 뿐만이 아니라 한반도의 평화와 공동의 번영을 추구할 수 있었다라는 점입니다. So I'd like to raise a glass. May the alliance between our two great nations continue to flourish through all the decades ahead. And as our combined forces say. We go together. 네, 그래서 여러분들은 
대 건배사를 하나 제청하고자 합니다. 우리 위대한 양국의 동맹과 그리고 향후 수십 년 동안 번영을 지속할 수 있게. So there you have President Biden speaking at a dinner in South Korea. We still have Morgan Ortega with us here on Fox and Friends this morning as we come back to the program in New York City. In fact, we also span the globe from east to west as Morgan is live in Lviv this morning <laughs> with us. Um, she's yeah. with a Nashville-based group, Aerial Global Community, which rescues orphans and human trafficking victims. Uh, focusing, I would assume, Morgan, specifically at this moment in time on Ukraine. You know, I was having a conversation uh, with someone a little bit earlier this week about the, the adoption efforts and the humanitarian efforts focused in Ukraine, but the conversation we were having was there's a lot of care that needs to be given because amidst all of this has been a rise in human trafficking, in child That's trafficking. Right. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Well, I am coming to your audience live from Lviv, Ukraine. Um, and, and what's so interesting, if you go to aerialrecoverygroup.com, uh, this is a Nashville based group, as you mentioned. Everyone knows Nashville's my adopted hometown. Um, this is a bunch of former special operators. So these are guys that spent 20 years in special operations in the U.S. forces. And, you know, many times um, after you leave that exclusive group and community, some of these guys feel like they get depressed or they lose their sense of purpose. And with aerial recovery, um, these special operators are able to uh, operate around the world. Mm. Uh, but in places like Ukraine, they go on humanitarian missions. Uh, we're focusing on rescuing orphans and other uh, victims, people that are susceptible to human trafficking, but they do this in the Caribbean, in the United States, anywhere there's a man-made right. or natural disaster. So I'm very lucky to be here with them well, and, we're glad and you're there. helping these orphans. We're glad you're there. And as Thank you point you. out, it's helping on both sides of the equation, Morgan. Thank you for being with us this morning on Fox & Friends. Thanks, Will. All right. More Fox & Friends just moments away. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.